Hans here with Evo Gimbals, and today we are talking to you about the Insta360 ONE-R. This thing is really, really cool. I gotta tell you, I was a little bit bummed out when I heard that they were gonna discontinue the ONE X, but because I really like the form function of this. I like the, how it feels in your hand. You could stick it in your pocket. There's a lot of really cool features about it, but after I used this thing for about an hour, I absolutely fell in love with it. It is so much easier to use. The image is so much clearer in my eyes. Um, and it's not going to be for everybody for sure, but it does have kind of more of a form function like the, the shape of a GoPro or these other action cameras that are out there. It's modular, so you can either use a front-facing camera, or you could use a 360 camera, or you could use a really high-end Leica lens with a one-inch sensor. Insta360 is offering four different versions of this. So you can get the front-facing camera only, which is called the 4K version. You can get the twin edition, which is what we have here. So we have a 360 lens and the 4K front-facing camera. I can't call it a front-facing camera because you can flip it around and it could be a back facing camera too. So like I said, they're really modular. Then you have your pro edition with the Leica lens front facing or back facing, however you want to look at it. And that one's got a one inch sensor. And then you've got your expert, which is going to come with the Leica lens and it's going to come with the 360 lens as well. So there's lots of different options for however you want to shoot with it. If you don't have a GoPro already, you probably are gonna to wanna to go ahead and just get this. This is a great solution for being able to shoot 360 and front facing, back facing, however you want to, cause you can flip the lens. I got a chance to go use it and I was doing just, I wanted to see what it sounded like. So we put it out in front of us and we were talking up at the mountain just to see how good it was. The wind was blowing. Okay, we're leaving Cloud Chaser. We just did a few runs. We're going back to the car. I just wanted to test the microphone on this. Got some crazy snowboarders ripping around. I'm not saying it's perfect, but I am saying it is really, really good. The audio straight out of the camera is very impressive comparatively to what we've had to deal with in the past with other cameras, including the One X. This is a big improvement. Um, it's waterproof. That's a huge improvement. As you can see, we tested that out too. Water and dirt proof, I should say. Um, so let's just go ahead and open it up, see what's inside. You got your battery pack, you've got your 360 lens right there. Don't set this down on the lens. Be really careful with your lenses on these. Even though they're saying there's like hardened glass on this, it's still, you gotta be really careful with these things because when you do get a scratch in them, you're gonna see that scratch all the time. So that's why they give you this little protective cover which I like to keep on this lens all the time, even when I'm not using it, it just is gonna keep it safe. So the mounting on it is the, one of the downfalls that I don't like, but they did kind of fix it with the new battery that they're coming out with. There's an extended life battery that's thicker than this. And they put the tabs on the bottom for the GoPro ecosystem. And then you've got mounting stuff here. So this works the same as the One X. So if you've already had a One X, you're gonna get, this is gonna be really familiar. You have the selfie stick. Um, this thing, it works really great with the with the this setup as well. You do have to have it in the mounting ecosystem that they have here. Um, and I will show you how to do that. It's not quite as easy as having this One X here, but the improvements that they have made on this system are worth it, like in spades. I wanna show you the video that they created to show you all of the features that this has. Take a look at this and when we come back, I'm gonna run you through how to set it up. In the future, I will do a more detailed video about the app and the features of the camera, but for now,
awesome video. They did such a great job putting that together. But they don't really even talk about some of the really cool accessories that are available. There's a USB-C plug that goes into the side of the camera that allows you to put an external microphone on it. Um, it has Bluetooth built in, so you can actually hook up your ear pods. We did try it. We weren't successful, but I know that they're working on it and the modules that are available to make that happen are in the camera. They've got a drone option, which is really cool, that will actually cut the whole entire drone out. So it's just gonna look like you've got a flying camera running around. They didn't even mention the remote functionality. They have a remote that you can buy from them, or if you have an Apple Watch, you could use your Apple Watch as a start and stop on the camera. That is really cool, pretty innovative. And I really like the GoPro base, how they actually have those tabs that come down. And Insta360 with their larger battery pack that they've designed, they have that same design underneath there so that you can use, you're not gonna have to use this case if you have the bigger battery because it's gonna have those tabs built into the bottom. I really think this camera is cutting edge. I think Insta360 is really doing a great job. And like I said, I really didn't think I was gonna like it when I first got it, but I really, really did fall in love with it. It is a great camera, and this will be my go-to for sure. So uh, if you guys have questions, we love answering questions, so feel free to shout out to us. And thank you guys for watching, and you'll see me in the next video.